Okay, going to do a magnetic test of some of the samples, and uh, here we have a Samsung S7, and the magnetic sensor is uh, up here in the top left-hand corner. So I'm going to start off with some ash samples. Uh, this is one times one ash, coarse near electrode, and uh, see what happens. We're looking at around about something like 11.7, 11.6. 11.8, so up towards 12, um, and I'll see what happens. And we'll change there, I'll change. Okay, nothing interesting going on there. And this is one times four ash near center. Maybe you can look at the other things, I'm just focusing on the X. times four ash near pointed electrode. Doesn't seem to be anything interesting there. One times two ash near center. This could get very boring. <laughs> Upside down. Mm. Don't know where that's moving at all. Can't see anything there. Uh, and this is the last of the ashes. This is final two times one ash. So this is final batch two. Uh, but uh, in the first core ash. Yeah. Nada. Nope. Uh, final fuel, so we're on to fuels now. Final fuel, second batch. Uh, stop it. This S7's screen is very sensitive. Okay, so we try it this way around. No, 11.4 minus, put that there. What do we get? No, no change. Um, one times one fuel second batch. So this is the 1x in the first, I don't know, uh, 1x fuel second batch anyway. Ah, uh, so sensitive. Nothing there. Stop it. No. Um. Oh, hello, a minute. What's A? What? That X has just gone positive. Uh, minus 11.3, put it back there. That 
this final fuel first batch seems to be uh, able to influence it. What about that angle? Not really, just a little bit. What about upside down? Uh, okay, it's gone 